It allows him to, you know, set up some really interesting things. I'm curious to see how he'll do against Mewtwo with Mewtwo, Mewtwo has so much kill power. So it'll be a little bit challenging, I think, for Danners because getting that first stock here is definitely going to be crucial. So we see Mewtwo with a lot of, you know, good damage output. He has a very strong and reliable projectile and shadow ball. And, you know, he's got all these good setups, uh, guaranteed combos, some solid 50-50 situations, and, of course, you know, those wonderful kill throws there. But right now we're seeing both players kind of just feeling each other out right now, kind of see, you know, how am I going to get these openings in. Um, Sporky throwing out a lot of forward airs preemptively, trying to read Greninja's uh, short hops, which is, you know, a good option because Greninja is going to want to approach to the air quite a bit. Well, he's got multiple options. He wants to move, switch around his movement, but, you know, he's going to try to dance around Mewtwo, try to see what he can get out of him. But right now we're seeing, like, a lot of back and forth right now. Um, we've gone very quickly from, you know, defensive, I'm going to fill you out kind of play to I'm just going to throw out and, you know, just test you, see what happens, go in. But right now, Danner's on the ledge. Oh, Sporky tried to go for that grab. I don't think that would have killed there, but it would have definitely put him in a good situation. And now it's a good forward air from Danner's there. Oh, we've got some off stage games here. Oh, Danner's going off stage there. See, I don't agree with him falling off at the back air like that because he just kind of put himself in a bad situation. You know, once you put yourself below the ledge there, and you have somewhat of a linear recovery, you got to be a little bit careful. He's didn't get killed for it, but oh, oh yeah, grab on the top of the stage. There's only one way to go from there. <laughs> so we're seeing Sporky take the first stock, but oh, no, sitting there with that um, forward smash. Not a good option against a character with a really strong projectile. You're going to have to like, oh, that was a very ballsy shadow sneak there. Oh, and the up smash nicks. Uh, I'd like to see Danners, like, slow down his usage of uh, Shadow Sneak and just, you know, use those good hitboxes. I'm not seeing a lot of up air, which is pretty good for catching people above him. Uh, <laughs> tries to attack on the extra damage with the Hydro Pump, but mm, gets grabbed. Uh, like, right now, Danners' biggest problem is, like, he's putting himself in the air in these really, un like, risky situations against a character that has very strong, very long-range aerials. So he's got to be a bit more careful about, you know, his landings in particular. He's going to want to play a bit more of a conservative game here and, like, try to poke him from the ground. Because Greninja can definitely, like, stall out very well. Oh, nice up smash there. Got the tip version. Now the saving grace here is, like, Mewtwo is extremely light. He's a class cannon character for a reason. So a solid read and, like, another... Um, 20-30% could possibly get Danners this game. Nice. Jab to forward smash. Almost killing with that fraudulent DI there. <laughs> oh. Use that down smash a bit too preemptively. I see that he was trying to catch the two frame, but there are better options for that. And there's so much end lag on that. It's, you know, you miss. You're going to get punished as we saw previously. Oh. Sporky trying to go for the hard reads right now. All right. Oh, tries to read his jump. Doesn't get the forward air, but does get the back air for some extra pressure. Oh, backs off. All right, now we're seeing, there we go. Interesting tactics there, going from spamming uh, shurikens to just running in. And, oh, we've got ourselves a tipped up smash. That was good. All right, Danner's bringing it back here. Close game. Now, we might see Sporky out for the... Meta Knight, but honestly, as a Meta Knight player, I can tell you a lot of Meta Knights do not enjoy that matchup. It's not, like, terrible or anything. It's just a character that can, like, wall out very well like Greninja can can often be frustrating. Oh, we're seeing a Sonic now. Now, I don't know. I've never seen him use Sonic before, so this will be different. I understand the logic. He probably felt like he was, you know falling behind there and so he's trying to go for the raw speed to just kind of control the pace of the battle which is good i mean greninjas want to slow down the pace so if you can take that away from them you do have an advantage but i didn't feel like his mewtwo did bad he just kind of like got overzealous in the end when he had like a pretty significant lead but right now we're seeing the sonic definitely work out for him a lot better than it was the mewtwo but then again danner started off kind of rough in the beginning and then he adapted and brought it back so can definitely happen in this game, too. Oh, says no to that neutral air. <laughs> All right, we're
we're seeing some oh that was a good conversion there we're seeing some footsies here oh, tries to go for the ledge trump I'll oh, see I don't agree with using the up smash there because even then it's not I'm not sure if it's gonna kill and if you're not sure I mean maybe he does know but if you're not sure that's gonna kill then you should definitely like save that then again also in that percent I don't believe that that was guaranteed anyway there is no reason for a character like Sonic to just air dodge like that so but yeah, like we said before, Danner is, you know, starting off kind of slow, but he's definitely bringing it back. But definitely needs to not put himself off stage like that, eating unnecessary damage. Well, Sparky just kind of feeling, waiting out his moments, but eating a lot of shurikens in the process. That's four in a row. <laughs> oh, if he had just waited out the air dodge, he definitely could have got something there. All right, let's see what happens here. Lots of falling forward air. Sporky just waiting. Yep, Danner's not falling for that a second time. Backs off this time. Good forward air. That's not going to kill. Oh, gets hit by the spring. Now, a lot of people expect this. Oh, that. see, that was the up smash moment right there. Oh, and he gets hit with a clean back air. And now Danner is definitely at a disadvantage because when Sonic gets the stock advantage, things get rough. Like, there's no reason for the Sonic to approach. So he could just sit back and take his time. But right now, we're seeing Sporky opt to not do that. In fact, he's doing quite literally the exact opposite. He's like, I got this momentum. I'm just going to go in and run away with it. And right now, it seems to be working out pretty well for him. All right. We're commentator's curse. All right. So we're seeing, oh, good forward smash there. Does a good job of reading now uh, Spin Dash and just interrupts it with a preempted um, Shuriken. And he's doing a good job of throwing those out preemptively, knowing, you know, oh, that was good. Neutral air to up smash. That was a nice conversion, and we're seeing him bringing it back now. It's been very back and forth. Ooh, lucky he did not get punished for that. Tries to read him. All right, misses the back air. All right, this is where things kind of slow down a little bit. Noticing the spacing of both players has gotten better. Oh, is that going to take it? And here we go. We got ourselves a game three. All right, now see, in that game, like I said, he started off pretty slow. He let the Sonic just kind of dance around him, and then he started using the stage more to his advantage and just kind of boxing him out. But then after a certain point, it just kind of looked like he got flustered, and then he just allowed Sporky to just run circles around him because in, normally in situations like that, you don't see the Sonic just running in after they're sitting on, you know, high percent on their stock when they have it up. They usually just opt to run away, but Sporky felt confident going in there and took, and took the advantage. So now we are going to game three, and we're going to Lilat. Interesting counter pick here. I'm not sure that I would be taking Sonic here. But we'll see how this plays out. Now definitely in a stage like this where you have three, you know, decent-sized platforms, like stage control and ground control is going to be extremely important here. Like you are not going to want to be on the upper platforms here. Both characters have some pretty good tools for harassing people on platforms above them. Uh, Greninja definitely, that up smash is super scary trying to land. His, you know, his up tilt's nice and quick, sets up for things. That up air is pretty respectable. And Sonic's got some good tools too. He's got up smash if he can read people, which not as strong as it was before, but it does have the invincibility. And then, you know, up air is pretty respectable. Coming out on frame five, you know, sets up into things. But right now, we're seeing Sporky start off strong yet again. Oh, gets the ledge trump back air. And this is not a good situation for Danners right now. But still, only a minute has gone on. He can totally bring this back if he can play a war of attrition here. Just pick his moments, get those clean conversions like he was doing now. Oh, we almost saw the Lilat. <laughs> good forward air there. He's going to have to use his hydro pump. Yep. Oh, but throws out the up smash preemptively. When you're recovering in a situation like that and you finally get back on the stage, throwing out something laggy like that is not really a good idea because you're going to just possibly end up having the situation reset on you. And at this point, you can't afford to take any additional damage. But right now, Danners is bringing it back. He just needs, like, a clean read right now, and he can, and this is totally attainable. Ooh, not killing. Another one of those might just kill, though, if he catches them close enough. 
Up smash, sour spot. Good shuriken there, putting the pressure on. I don't agree with the down smash usage in this case, especially when Sonic has that um, up B that has so much intangibility on it. Oh, goes for the shadow sneak. Oh, that could have been it right there. Did not capitalize on the opportunity given to him. All right, reverting back to the camping. He's just waiting to try to make him land, try to control his air movement and catch him with the aerial, it looks like. Perhaps forward air. Now, is that going to kill? Yep. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a game here. I mean, it's 53%, but it's not a huge deficit. He can definitely bring it back. But he's going in a little bit too haphazardly right now. He's got to be careful. Sparky just trying to keep him boxed on the ledge there. Good forward air there. Oh, and he gets stage spiked by the back air. Not ready for it, doesn't tech it, and that's the set. Good set there. And we're seeing Sporky walk away with a 2-1.